Hi everybody, this is Doris with Rich in Love Fashion and on this week's episode of Dose of Doors, we're going to be talking about how to speak good words. Did you know the words that we speak are affirmations? Let me explain. If you say how much you dislike or hate a person, a job, a situation, you are just affirming with the universe that you don't want or feel you deserve anything better. Make sense? Proverbs 12, 14 states, wise words bring many benefits. Isn't it truly astonishing how much we self-sabotage abundance from coming into our lives just with the words that we speak and the mindset we have? But the question is, are we supposed to be, how are we supposed to watch every single word we say? And that's a lot of words in a day. That's a lot of thoughts that are going through your mind. And I talk a lot. So it's just like, gosh, how am I supposed to filter everything I say and make sure the words that I'm speaking are going to be good words that are going to be good affirmations for me that are going to set me up for the next day and the day after that and so on. So, well, of course, it starts with mindset. And I've told you before in previous videos, I'm going to be hammering that point about mindset. But it's also about how do we get there? If we get our mindset in check and we start speaking these words that are pure and good. So I'm going to give you a few examples that could help you start speaking and getting into a better mindset shift, speaking shift in a way where you're going to start doing these as habits and routines and it's going to help. So number one would be watch the conversations you're having with certain people. This is huge. There are a few people that I have known in my past that when I would get with them and start talking with them, you would just start talking kind of like nonsense and foolishness and it was nothing pure and happiness. It was just bitch, 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 bitch. And then you step away and you could just feel your energy drained from you from that conversation because it wasn't of anything of uplifting or inspiration or encouragement. So just watch who you're talking to in your little circles of conversations. And if the conversation is going downhill real fast, if all negativity and gloom and doom, you need to either stop the conversation and move on, or you need to say, hey, why don't we name something that's positive that's going on? And just break the conversation up and shift it into good words. Number two, have a list of affirmations that you say throughout the day. Affirmations are amazing. So if our words that we're speaking, like the words I'm speaking right now, are affirmations, we need to think about solid affirmations that we're going to be saying each and every day. So a few of that I love, and number one, it would be, I am so happy and grateful now that. We talked about that in a previous video, and that is just an amazing, like you should be saying that no matter what, and I keep on saying that, I am so happy and grateful now that, and fill in the blank. Um, another good affirmation is life supports me in all that I do. Um, another one is just saying thank you. Like you do an email and you get a response back. You haven't read the response yet, but just say thank you. Thank you. You know, you go to the mailbox and you get mail. doesn't matter if there's bills in there. Just say thank you. Just feel blessed and you'll get blessings back. Another great one is to also say you're blessed. You know, that's another one It's really great is saying, I'm blessed, I'm blessed, I'm blessed, and blessings will come to you. Um, of course, you could say, I'm in charge, you know, um, you can always say, I'm rich, you know, and et cetera. So those are, you know, you find your own affirmations, you find how many you want to say, and you'll get like, you know, a few of them that you're just going to be, you know, taking a walk and you're going to say them, or you're going to be doing emails and you'll just say them in your head. You know, you can say them out loud if no one's around or whatever, but those are, these are going to be your affirmations that you personally have. Another third one is, is listen to guided meditation every night. This is where I started off years, 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 years ago. I started off listening and I'll leave the link below of some of my favorite ones. So maybe you can kind of like listen to them and see if you like them too. And they might, you know, help you find maybe the one that works for you best. But listening to guided meditations that have affirmations inside of them, it actually gets deep down into your subconscious mind and you're able to go to bed, put a little, you know, your earbud or a little ear thing in and listen to them. Some of them are like one hour long. So if you want to lay there for one hour and just kind of like zen out and then go to bed, that's great. Or if you want to do one that's eight hours long and just have it in your ear for eight hours, very low volume, 
that's amazing too. But they really, really do work. And the next morning, you feel different. I can't explain it, but you feel different. And it's just because of all those affirmations going into your subconscious mind. It's being projected in the next day. So with all this said, no pun intended, uh, remember the words that we speak set us up. Not only right here in this moment, but they set us up for tomorrow and the day after that and the day after that. If we want to truly win in this game of life, we need to start saying the words and saying what we deserve to get to that end result. Hopefully this has helped you. Thank you for watching this week's episode of Dose of Doris. Additional information can always be found by visiting Rich in Love Fashion. And until next time, remember to always stay glamorous.